Hi and welcome back. So in the last video we saw something about compiled and interpreted languages and in this video I want to do analogy of the two. So if I come here and I say this is a compiled compiled language. First of all you have the source code and then it has to go through a compiler and then it has to come out as the code that will be run. So let me think in terms of uh, a sugarcane. So let's say you have sugarcane and you want to sweeten your tea or coffee in a compiled kind of setting. In a compiled kind of setting, you'll have to take the sugar to the factory, right? You'll take it to the factory and then it will bring back our application which is refined refined sugar. And then you can take the sugar and put it in your in your cup of coffee. So in this case the sugar can is our source code The sugarcane is our source code and this is our compiler. And this is our compiled code, right? So in this case you saw that you had to take the sugar for to be refined before you could use it. So in the next example, let's look at interpreted using the same analogy of the sugar and our tea. Okay, now in an interpreted system, we still have our sugar, right? We still have our sugar cane. And then the idea or the goal is that we want to get our coffee or our tea sweetened. So in an interpreted system, you'll take this sugar cane. Let's say in here you have some kind of a some kind of a machine eh? or some kind of a lever that you can use to squeeze out the sugar cane. Just right there. And then you will use that. You'll use that to sweeten your tea or coffee directly. So you'll see here we don't have to compile it. We just take our sugar, we come and crush it and get the tea. So this is our end result, what the user will see. This is our source code. And this right here this is our interpreter. So I hope you, you've understood the difference between these two. And if not, you can go, you can go and uh, read more on them in this Wikipedia links. So using the sugar analogy, you can see in a compiled system, this has to be refined. In an interpreted system, this one will just be run. The source code will be read directly and the information extracted from it. So I'll see you in the next video.